Hey guys, we wanted to share with you some of the coolest early access titles around. And we wanted to show you games that you might not have heard of. As such, we're only including games released this year on the list. So favourites such as DayZ, Rust, Seven Days to Die, Prison Architect and others won't be in this video. But enough rambling, let's get down to business. Here are the best early access games on Steam. <laughs> Colours. Lots and lots of bright neon colours on a black background. Black Ice's rainbow trong look provides an eye blazing contrast, but if it's something you can't handle there is, thank god, a photosensitive mode. We say thank god because Black Ice is a seriously fun game. In a procedurally generated cyberspace, gameplay revolves around hacking server buildings and holding off the enemies they throw at you, mainly spiders. Wait, spiders? Every hack gives loot and experience, and leads to intricate character modification as well as beans of weapon combos to match the beans of colours. With online multiplayer also, Black Ice is already a good game and is shaping up to be even better with future updates. It is advisable to destroy it. The Red Solstice is based off of Night of the Dead. No, not that Night of the Dead. We're talking about the Warcraft 3 mod. And if you know your history, there's been a few successful games based on Warcraft 3 mods. Ever heard of League of Legends? Dota? What Red Solstice actually is, is an 8 player co-op with large free roaming maps. And as you roam these maps, you'll encounter random events and objectives, which you must survive with strategic thinking. Interestingly, if you scroll down to the bottom of the game Steam page, you'll see a bunch of reviews by users who've clocked hundreds of hours since the July 11 release. Admittedly, these are the developers of the game, but nevertheless, it's a real recommendation that after spending hours making this game, they are pouring even more hours into playing it. With its origins and passionate development, Red Solstice has the potential to become one of the best co-op games in the Steam library. You might have heard of Shadow Blade before, and that's because it was released as a mobile game earlier this year. Now it's reloaded as Shadow Blade Reload on PC. The original mobile game was a critical success, garnering particular praise for its smooth touch controls. In transitioning to PC, the major focus for the game is to become more comprehensive. This is already evident in the increased difficulty, instituted by the three new modes of difficulty and new levels. Also, the game now has a level editor, and developers Dead Mage want to use early access so as to incorporate players' own levels into the final product. On top of all this, the memorable and addictive goal of honing your skills and replaying levels in order to prove your grade remains. Along with its casual appeal, Shadow Blade Reload is extending its identity to become a challenging platformer. Survival horror? Uh, seen it before. How about top-down survival horror? Okay, now that's something new. Well, that's what you can expect in the early access title Darkwood. At first, we were worried about the particular camera angle being counterintuitive to the horror experience. But the noise of your equipment jangling and footsteps combined with the harrowing music make for an uneasy and tense atmosphere. The game itself takes place in random worlds with optimal permadeath. You gather items for crafting as well as weapons and barricades to attack and defend. There are also inhabitants to talk with, and clues to find if you want to uncover the mystery of the woods. All of this is capped off by an impressive difficulty. Darkwood is very playable and currently contains a prologue and first chapter with more to come. Sunless Sea is Failbetter's follow-up to the successful text-based browser game Fallen London, and is also set in the same universe. The core of the game is similar too. It's superbly written and illustrated to choose your own adventure that immerses the player entirely. And the new naval dynamic improves this with some great ideas. This includes making your own crew. 
whose own stories only strengthen the capacity of the plot, as well as exploring the seas that can unveil new worlds, or even a mysterious darkness that will send your crew into madness. The combat and action is mostly limited, but this game is about getting lost in a world and carving out your own story. And Sunless Sea's world is gorgeously dark and full of interesting characters. America is hands down the best and most in my country on earth. And Broforce sure as hell knows this. It lets patriots take up arms and defend the greatest nation on earth, and international players to get delicious testosterone taste of what they're missing out on. All jokes aside, Broforce is good old metal slug action with an overtly bro punch. You can play as all your favourite bros, from bro hard to Indiana brones. So pretty much anyone in the Expendables. There's also 4 player bro op to share the crazy gas tank rides with. Bro Force is polished, fun and brash and will Punch terrorism right at genitals with a final release early 2015. For us, the forest captures the enthralling survival aspect of Minecraft. Alone in a foreign world inhabited by hostile creatures, you build a fort, traps, craft weapons and cook food. Only, the forest makes it feel more real, and more terrifying. It's easy to put this down to the graphics and the details, but there are other features adding to the realism. One of these is the mutant enemies. They watch you from a distance and circle around you without attacking. They don't know what you are either, and are trying to weigh you up. With every playthrough you go further and find out something new about these mutants. Like that their base is decorated with human corpses hung from the ceiling. And with each new detail the mystery grows, and so do the intrigue and terror. The forest is scary and beautiful. And beautifully scary that it's only in alpha. Those monsters, driven mad by music. Their twisted souls bound to the beat. Thought music games were dead? Well, for the most part, you were right. Crypt of the Necrodancer cleverly adds rhythm-based gameplay to freshen up the dungeon-crawling roguelike genre. Players have to move on the beat, as indicated by the changing colour of the dungeon dance floor. And on top of the Danny Baranowski soundtrack, there's the option of using your own MP3 files. Rhythm movement is absolutely pulsating, and with all the permadeath and tough enemies you'd expect of Dungeon Crawler, the Crypt of the Necrodancer is a very successful and satisfying invention. Ah, one more for the game. Tabletop card games have, for the most part, stayed separate to video games, but Hand of Fate combines card games with roguelikes to produce one of the most unique games you'll ever see. In every game, you face off against the dealer, and every round you are dealt cards from your deck that determines the conditions and scenario of an encounter. You are then transported into the encounter where you fight in an arena akin to the combat seen in the Arkham Batman series. The cards determine everything, including the enemy, as well as your own weapon and health. Additionally, after each game you earn more cards, which can be used to build your own deck. This adds to the replay value and makes the action sequences more random and new. Currently there are some balancing issues and the final boss hasn't been implemented, but that's why it's in early access. Hand of Fate is ambitiously inventive and teeming with potential. Blockstorm answers the age-old question of whether an FPS set in a block world can work, and we're not completely stretching the age-old part. Where similar multiplayer games such as Ace of Spades and Guncraft have left players wanting more, Blockstorm delivers. A lot of this stems from the shooting mechanics actually being solid and forcing more tactical play. Also, characters and maps can be customised down to the last block to allow for true creativity. 
Better yet, this is all underpinned by a dedicated community of developers and players keen to constantly improve this game through early access. Like that countdown? Subscribe! We do them all the time. All day, every day. As always, thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on IndieFormer. All day, all night. That sounded really weird. What we said? Like that countdown? Subscribe! We do them all the time. All day, every day. As always, thanks for watching. My name's Ian Lawrence. And <laughs> my name's me and Josh. <laughs> hey guys. We want to share with you some of the coolest titles. Oh, cool. Coolest. Jingle bells, I got it wrong. Coolest, coolest games around. Cool. Let's go.